Hello and welcome to another class of Amazon SNS. So today in this class of simple notification service, we are going to discuss about its architectural overview. So here you and here we are having AWS services and this is our evaluation code and we are having requesters. So we are having resource A, resource B and resource C under AWS services. We have defined our policy for resource A, policy for resource B and policy for resource C. So here you, after that we are having defined policy resources created 1, 2 and 3. We have defined the policy for various resources. We are have from request we are having various incoming request. Now these incoming requests are evaluated with the help of evaluation code. So this figure shows the main components that interact to provide access control to your resources. So we have defined the resources. We have created the policy for the resources. So how the request will interact with our resources so we have access control for that. So for various incoming requests from the requester, we have evaluation code. With the help of this, can interact or it can use our resources that we have defined. So you, that means you means the resource owner. And we have created a resource, that means your resources. We have created the policies, so your policies. Requester and then incoming request to the AWS services and after that we have access policy language and evaluation code So how to use this access policy language suppose You write a policy So after writing a policy We add that policy to the system So suppose that someone request to use your resource so we have created a policy we have added the policy to the system now someone request to use your resources after that Amazon Web Services determines the applicable policy AWS service evaluates the various policies and then AWS service result or return the result so basically this shows how access control works with access policy language so request after that it will determine the applicable policy evaluate the policy and then returns the result this is the process of access control suppose you write a policy for your resource you upload your policy to amazon web services someone send a request to your resource the AWS service determines whether the policies are applicable to request or not. It evaluates the various policies. The AWS services either denies the request or continue to process it. This is what the result is. So we are having Amazon SNS mobile push. That means we can send push notification messages to both mobile devices as well as desktops. So we this figure will show the overview how SNS is used to send a direct push notification to a mobile endpoint. So here we are having a publisher and we are having Amazon SNS. These are the various push notification services. With the help of these push notification services, we are connected to the subscriber. We are having services ADM, APNS, BAIDU, GCM, MPNS, and WNS. So, publisher will send a message to SNS, and after that, with the help of various push notification services, the message will be delivered to the subscriber. So, again, this figure shows a mobile endpoint as a subscriber to Amazon SNS topic. The mobile endpoint communicates using push notification services whereas 
the other endpoints do not so this is a mobile endpoint it communicates using push notification services whereas other endpoints that means these sqs simple queue service http or https email and sms these are the subscriber these do not communicate with push notification services like this only the mobile device can communicate with this with the help of which push notification services whereas these services which are sqs http email and sms can communicate directly with this topic with publisher so this is how amazon simple notification service will work thank you so much